Well, uh, I knew the previous guy. Well, we are doing the demo for three years. Each pilot does three years. So it was the the last year of the of the last demo pilot. And then we received an email who is interested uh, in doing this. And then um, I said, yes, I won. <laughs> and, um, and then there were there were some uh, some other guys wanting wanting to do that. And at the end, that's the the squadron commanders together with some chiefs of uh, yeah some 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 guys who are above the squadron commander who had the meeting and decided that uh, I'm gonna do that. So. Mm -hmm. And is there a lot of competition? Because I can imagine when that demo uh, pilot slot comes up, everyone's like, you, I'll do it. Uh, yeah. or, or is it quite a small pool? It's quite a small pool because the problem is we are not a really big Air Force. We have also two other teams, the Patriot Swiss and PC-7 team. Uh, so a lot of guys are already involved in the teams. And then the slot where you can go as demo pilot is pretty small because if you are too young, then you don't have the experience, of course. Mm. And then uh, if you are a bit, little bit older, then you're already doing some other stuff more. Um, I don't know, you may you might be a commander from something or you are you are leading a project or I don't know. So the mm -hmm. slot uh, where you can do that is that it's, it's pretty small. And what was it like when you got that call and you were like, right, you're the demo pilot. That must have been like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was like, yeah, first of all, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's so cool. I can go on every air show. That's so nice. And then I thought about it. I was like, oh, but yeah, <laughs> like a lot, of work. A, a lot of work. It's dangerous. Uh, well, it's not really dangerous when you know how, what you're doing. But at yeah. the first, when when you don't know that and you see the guy playing at 300 feet and doing all the stuff, you're like, okay, I'm going to do that in a <laughs> of week. And uh, then the first night you don't sleep very well because yeah. you're, you are thinking about a lot of things. And um, yeah, that 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 was uh, that was very very exciting. And uh, then uh, I was a little bit a little bit uh, stressed until uh, I had the chance to fly it really and to learn it. And then uh, then it was better. Awesome stuff. So can you talk us through how a display routine is actually created? At the beginning, I think when we received the Hornet, we took a lot of uh, lessons from the Canadian because they already had the one uh, display routine. Uh, so it was the, the base for the Hornet display. It was in 97, I guess. And then uh, every pilot uh, teach the next one. So he does his stuff. Every pilot is maybe trying new stuff, new, new maneuvers. And uh, at the end, you receive the, the program from the last guy. Of course, you are free to do anything you want. So if I want, mm -hmm. I can change everything. I don't have a strict oh, wow. uh, rule who said I need to take the, the, the old guy his stuff. But of course, when you come to the, to the display, you have not really an idea about how, what you have to do. You first have to learn, learn the job. So for me, the first season, I took exactly the same as the last guy. And then uh, for the second season, I did some uh, small changes. But um, yeah, the, now we have the Hornet for more than 20 years, so it's getting hard to find really new stuff. So you cannot really invent new maneuvers. I, I'm, of course, I look what the Finnish guy are doing, Canadian and so, and I try to find something. But um, yeah, that's it. The, then the, the, the thing you always have to respect, we have some gates. So the goal, of course, is to do a is to do a display safely. That's the the main goal. And to do that, you you cannot do anything you want. We have as well a, a twin engine aircraft, so we have to cover a single engine the whole display. So you cannot fly at the limit during the whole display. Like mm -hmm. an F-16 pilot is just pulling the max all the time because if he loses the engine, then uh, yeah, lose the engine. It ha it has only yeah. one. And for us, it's a, it's a little bit different. We have to respect some gates, some altitude, speed, and so to be safe. And any 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 times you want to do a new maneuver, then you you have to think about all this stuff. And uh, last year I tried, and I, I wanted to try a new maneuver. I, I first tried in high altitude, but then I, I I wasn't enough confidence to take it in the routine and uh, to do it during air show at low altitude. You need to think about if the figure 
if the maneuver is 99% safe and you do 100 display, then you're going to die once. <laughs> exactly. Yeah.